Hello, Tensile Tribe. Today I'll show you how to set up a stealth. So inside the bag you'll find a Trillium Triple Hammock, fly sheet, three pegs, three bungees, three section pole, three straps, three ratchets, a mesh top, tripod, and uh, the shelf tower for the center. So the first thing to do is put your strap around the tree. You can take the loop end and walk it around your tree and come back, get your strap, set it at the height you want and then simply thread the tail through the loop and pull it and cinch it tight. Okay, so here's the Trillium. Please read the manual before you uh, set it up and before use, just so you know what the limitations are. Undo the buckle and then we're going to lay it out so that each of the corners are facing the tree anchors that we're going to use. And then it's time to put the ratchets on. So each ratchet has got a locking mechanism here, which goes in behind the teeth and a loop on a strap at the other end. Now, we simply take the D-ring, thread the loop through the D-ring, and then put the ratchet through the loop. And we do that once each side first. Then we can take the ratchet strap, thread it through the spindle. Now, the first time we do this, we're gonna do it, we're gonna eye it because we don't know exactly where the equal central point is between these three trees. So the way I do it is I stand on the end of the, oh, I stand on the end of this strap and give it a couple of pumps. So I've got something to pull against. Through the spindle, pull a little bit out. Give it a couple of pumps, make sure that the strap is wound completely round once so you can't see any of the spindle that means it will be locked under itself so right now we've got the trillium up nice and loose and now we've got to get it as close to in position as we can before we get it very very tight so if you look down this line of thread here you'll see that the line of thread and the ratchet strap are kinked that's not a straight line but if i pull and tighten this side of the rat, this side of the trillium, that angle should straighten up. And let's have a look and see how that is getting there. The last thing you need to do is make sure all of your ratchets are in locked position, which means you should uh, pull the locking lever out, set your ratchet closed so that this pin is behind inside this housing here and once that's all done your trillium's ready then we get the tripod and we put it down on each of the three velcro pads on the sides and then we're ready to put the insect mesh on lay the, the insect mesh out over over the trillium base and uh with the three corners which have got buckles um, at, in the corners. Okay. Then you take the corner buckles and you put them underneath, collaring the back of the D-ring and cinching it up tight. Do that each side. And you're ready for the pole. Each stealth will come with a three section pole and a shelf tower. What you want to do is you want to thread your pole through the center of the shelf tower. Uh, 
you don't want to go into this loop at the moment, but then what you want to do is open up one of the doors and come inside. And you want to feed the loop at the top of the shelf tower through the hole and through the uh, pole socket. Thread the pole socket through that and then you bring your pole through the hole and into the pole socket and then you're ready to push it up and into the central pole socket on the tripod. As you can see here, this is the loop of the shelf tower that's coming out and this is the pole socket loop which is threaded through that and up and fixed to the top of the pole. Uh, once all the bungees and the corners of the shelf tower are secure, each, each hammock has got a corresponding um, level, shelf storage level um, in the shelf tower. Now let's attach the fly sheet. Uh, the fly sheet's symmetrical in all three directions, so it doesn't matter which corner you start with, but you're looking for a corner with the, with the clips, which you will clip onto the handle of the ratchet, like so, and then follow, follow the right edge to the next corner. Clip that on. You're going to have to do a bit of a swooshing motion to get it over the top of the other. You clip on that last corner, so all three corners are done. And then you've got the wings, which are these, these flaps here, which you can you can tie down and back into there if you're in storm mode or attach your bungee, take it out, simply hook that onto the bungees and you're away. Once the fly sheet is on and tight, you can see that there's plenty of separation between the fly sheet and the, and the internal room, uh, which means there's plenty of ventilation and there's never going to be any condensation that can touch the insect mesh to get inside the room. You ready to go? Tentile stealth.